Johnny Impact becomes the the champion. So before we talk about the aftermath, we'll talk about Johnny Impact. He's freshly 39 years old and uh, took his longest break from wrestling earlier this year since 2014 to uh, film Survivor. He's a AAA mega champion. Now he is the uh, the Impact World Champion. He was the Lucha Underground Champion. So, I mean, he's the guy they're hitching their wagon to right now. And probably rightfully so. So after this match, now I just want to say this. I, don't, I, I jumped right onto this podcast. I don't have insight about whether this is real, whether this is not real. I will find out, but... Austin Aries gets up immediately, no cell starship pain after Impact beated him, then signaled up to Don Callis, flips the crowd off, and walks out. Impact looked frustrated. Moose and Edwards, or Moose and uh, Killer Cross didn't know what was going on. So let's talk about this the history of Austin Aries. It's something that was capitalized on recently. The volatile nature of Austin Aries. He brings up his ex-girlfriend, Zelina, all the time. He Last year, when I reported that he, wanted, he asked for his release, so he went on to say, oh, no, I didn't. Well, the person that, that the two people that told me that he asked for his release said, then why was he walking around saying, I want out of here in the hallway? That's asking for your release. That's asking for your release. That's asking for your papers. You've heard story about how he retired because he wasn't on tough enough and how he can be difficult to deal with. Here are the two possibilities. Either Austin Aries is incredibly unprofessional or this is a work shoot. Either way, they're both terrible. If this was a work shoot, they had a guy get up on their pro wrestling show after a 20-something minute match. No sell. All of Johnny Impact's offense. And then walk out. Major new champ looked like trash. Or Austin Aries is unprofessional. Either way, Austin Aries was in the wrong here because Austin Aries should have said, if this is a work, he should have said, hell no, I'm not doing that. That's the dumbest storyline I've ever heard. I mean, not the dumbest you've ever heard, but it's very WCW 2000-ish. It's so dumb. If it is a work, having a company scream we're unstable when they have had a rich history of instability is stupid if it's austin aries going into business for himself man what an ass hope he doesn't get bookings anymore because there were people who worked really hard on this show leaving myself open to both possibilities Somebody says, WCW 2000 is better than the current WWE product. Don't be a dumbass, please. Not on my stream. So, <clears throat> Johnny Impact's the champion. They're going to have tapings throughout this week. They announced this uh, today, however. They would be going back to the asylum, the fairgrounds. And uh, they would... Uh, be doing homecoming January 6th. I'm going to try to go to it and get some work done. Next pay per view. WCW 2000 wasn't that bad, but it still sucks. Yeah, it was terrible, man. It was it was absolute garbage. It was absolute garbage. I mean, it's frustrating when they come off of a show as good as Slammiversary. And then they set up their show and they're like, you know what? No tag titles. Who needs them? No X Division Championship. Who needs it? You know what we'll do? We'll put a no disqualification tag match, an OVE rules tag match, and a concrete jungle death match back to back to back on the show. You ever heard of a palate cleanser? Come on. 